right, here's the deal. I'm going to go directly to your phone calls and try to go to them as quickly as I can. And then we're going to uh, get to a host of breaking news stories that are up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And I've got more to say about the disgusting hysteria about the royal baby and what a new distraction that is. So they move from the Trayvon Martin, uh, George Zimmerman diversion of racial division to now royalty worship. And I've got to get to this pension fund news and also the CIA admits weather modification. I, do, do I get my apology from Rachel Maddow saying I was insane? No, I don't. I don't think. I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Her apology is her viewership plunging. Uh, let's go to Mario in South Carolina. Thanks for holding. You're on the air. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Pretty good, brother. Yeah, I just called about the uh, whole thing with Detroit. I was thinking that maybe that Detroit will be the Cypress of America. And the whole thing with Lindsey Williams, with him saying they will loot the pension funds, I think he made a correct prediction because isn't that what they're going to do in Detroit? Uh, absolutely. In fact, I haven't even gotten into Detroit today, despite the fact we have a bunch of news on that. And Mike Adams has a story uh, dealing with government announcements that they are going to get the government pension funds first. And, you know, they tell government bureaucrats, hey, you've got to go out and uh, write more tickets, raise more taxes, take more houses. When you get taxes on the general public, uh, working class, lower middle class, middle class, above 40% historically, it implodes economies. And, and that's just a basic number. And, yeah. and, and, and now middle class is paying about 65% taxes in this country. In, in France, the average person pays 82, and some people pay over 100%, uh, but the socialists are all exempted, came out. So the power to tax is the power to destroy, uh, as George Washington said, and, and uh, yes, they are now moving in Detroit, as you just said, uh, to take all the government pension funds, but of course, the former mayors and people and city managers, they're going to be exempt. Yeah, there's the headline, French tax soars over 100%. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, so absolutely. And again, that's why they need a police state. They know you're going to wake up, try to take the government back, and send them all to prison. And again, Bertie Madoff should not be in jail. When, uh, whenever he says in the news, uh, jailhouse interviews, that all I did is what everybody else does, it's true. Now, I'm not saying Madoff isn't a crook. I'm saying... Send about a thousand crooks worse than him to jail first and then get around to sending him to jail. I mean, Ken Lay was a big crook, but nothing compared to Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, all these guys, all these groups. Warren Buffett's a complete criminal. And I'm not just saying that. It's come out in the news. He's done illegal stuff with money, but doesn't get in trouble because they're made men. They're above the law. If they make a 40 to 1 bet like John Corzine, steal people's private money, two years later, oh, we're not going to prosecute him. Well, that wasn't a hard prediction to make. So when you get to the point of they can never go to jail, what does that do? It emboldens them to get away with more and more. And then that haughty attitude is transferred throughout the government. Until people marvel, they say, why are you on the air? Why are you still alive? Well, God's involved. My grandma's praying for me. Secularly, they don't want to underline, highlight everything I've said, make me a martyr. But I know deep down one of the biggest reasons is I've been told by some minions of the globalists, they find this entertaining. They actually think I'm demoralizing people. They think you're so cowardly, that you're so weak, that you hear the truth here. And boy, believe me, this is the truth close you're going to get to it. I'm trying as hard as I can to really give you a researched, informed answer with complexities, the whole nine yards. And they're like, good, you know, uh, I'm basically like America's head on a battle standard to intimidate people. They think you're cowards. They think you're broke. They think you're weak. They, th I mean, I don't think you're like that. I think they've miscalculated. But uh, here I am arguing for them to come after me. But, you know, their angle is, so what? What you going to do about it? What you going to do? But the truth is they want us shut down. So, so there's a lot of things going on here, but I think it's part of their haughty arrogance. The smarter ones want to destroy me, and they have destroyed my name to a certain extent with some people that don't pay attention. 
Uh, but those folks didn't count anyways. They're a bunch of spectators. So I hope that answers your question. I'm kind of ranting. Yeah, I understand you. But my whole deal is I try to wake up all the zombies, but now it's just, it's just getting more tiresome and tiresome to the point where you just want to sit back and just watch them basically perish away. I mean, they keep eating the GMO, taking the fluoride and, and the vaccines pretty soon. Next couple of generations, they won't be able to have kids and I don't have to deal with them no more, you know? No, I hear you. God bless your great points. Listen, here's the deal. We've already gone from one and 25,000 with autism in 1980, 30 plus years ago, to one in 50 something is the new number. And folks, cancer rates are up 3,000% on average. If you index them all together, pediatrics are up over 10,000%. Pediatric cancers didn't exist in the 50s, folks. I mean, we are under a curse. You can call it spiritual or whatever you want, but it's a curse. And the globalists call themselves magicians. And, and what is a master magician? They are a, a, a wizard. They are a, a, a master magician. And that doesn't mean they're actually pulling a real rabbit out of the hat. But if you believe a rabbit was pulled out of the hat that wasn't there before, when it was really in a hidden compartment or hidden behind a mirror, then it was pulled out. See, perception is reality for an unconscious slave. And so if they feel like they're winning because Obama is in office, they say, well, who are you going to vote for? Uh, Mitt Romney? And, they, and it's like, no. The trick is the system funded both men and knew who they wanted because he was a more effective evil, not a lesser evil. Mitt Romney couldn't get away with anything that's going on right now, not with his constituents or anybody. So see, it's, they look at things, the dumbed down mass as A or B, Coke, Pepsi, Ford, Chevy. The Broncos versus the Titans. The Cowboys versus the Ravens. The Patriots versus the Redskins, blah, blah, blah. The Dolphins versus the Chargers. The Seahawks versus the, it goes on and on. And so people are in a trance. They just are thinking about their job, their burnout, their poison from GMO, poison from fluoride. They have lower IQs. I mean, the Harvard study folks, on average, it was 20-something percent for boys and 17 percent for girls. So I just averaged it together. But it, it, there, there's 24 studies they look at in that major Harvard study, and one of them is on IQ. And there's a bunch on IQ, but I just say Harvard because people go, Harvard? And you can look up Harvard study fluoride and read what I just said couple hundred pages long go read it i actually read the whole thing I, you know if i'm reading a novel i like i read it slowly but i you know i sped i speed read so just kind of getting the gestalt of the info and i take it personal i mean if people were throwing things to the windows of the austin city council i'm not calling for that but if they were doing that i'd say well you, you know they are putting fluoride in our water if there were people running around going i'm a victim take the fluoride out I'd say, man, yeah, I agree with this. But see, no, we're not doing that. They've had marches in Austin about Trayvon Martin. When that guy had dead brain cells throughout his mind, throughout his, his, his brain tissue, and, and so does Zimmerman. We're all in this together. We're all being attacked. We're all being engineered, and I think it's disgusting. And that's why these people are like this. These are, these are victims. We are all victims of this, of the madness. And I figured it out. The globalists have 90 plus percent of the reactors are leaking. Look that up. Out of 420 something reactors, 90, is it 92 or 91 percent are leaking? You can look up that number. They're not getting away from all this. These people are just nuts. Like they think they've got a plan and there is a plan but it's only a plan to control us and give us the short end of the stick. But man, you know, it's like we're holding the hand grenade. They pulled the pin. They're sitting two feet away. They're going to get blown up by it, too. They're not getting away with this. Let's go to Brad in Colorado. Brad, thanks for holding her on the air. How are you doing today, Alex? I'm doing all right, brother. Thanks for putting up with me. Yeah, your, your phone's breaking up. Go ahead. I'm sorry about that. I wanted to call in today. I'm in the middle of a yeah, I'm going to have to let you go, bro. You know, some, sometimes people call in and they've got a good phone line and then it gets bad.
Or maybe call him back, John, see if he can get on a better phone line. That sounded like a Vonage phone or something to me, or a really bad cell phone. It's like my wife always calls me on her cell phone from inside the house. And I say to her, honey, why don't you use a hands-free? And she does more and more. Why don't you use a landline? We have a landline. And she calls me, and it's always, and she's like, what, you can't hear me? And I'm like, honey, she, she always gets irritated. God love her. She's a sweetheart. That I can't understand her. And I'm like, you got to go on the back porch. We live in the country. The tower's like four miles away, five miles away. Thank God I like being far away from the tower. Because the evidence is clear, being close to those cell towers is not good for you. And again, I'm not some goody two-shoe. I'm not some, oh, look, I'm saving you. I'm pointing all this out. I try to avoid GMO. I still eat it sometimes. I try to stay away from cell phone radiation. I try to not turn Wi-Fi on in my house. I try. I'm trying. And I'm trying to warn you. And I'm trying as best I can to just get us to come back to sanity. You know, one reason the Romans were so aggressive and insane towards the end of their uh, dynasty, their 400-year, 500-year, even longer than that if you count the decline, 600-year, technically, uh, dynasty from, what, a couple hundred B.C. right through 410, they were drinking out of lead-lined containers, water and wine, which makes you completely insane and aggressive. And there's an example right there. We are poisoned. We are poisoned, and, we ha and, and we're not focused on real environmental issues. It's all carbon taxes to pay Al Gore money. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. By the way, I'm going to play a clip of this over the weekend. Uh, Rand Paul said that uh, we'll bail out Detroit over his dead body. And then he went on to say, you can't bail out Detroit. Bailing out Detroit would have been not having the government take over General Motors and ship it to China. And I know that almost every show I mentioned that in the last four years since the so-called bailout of General Motors because it blows my mind. And I also get emails and I see comments going, is that true? Yes, folks, you can search the term. I'm pulling up the exact headline in my mind. GM bailout shipped factories to China. And now, by the way, four years later, that factory just opened in China, the big one, for Cadillacs and a bunch of other GM cars. And, of course, that was $21 billion to ship it to China, Brazil, and a couple Eastern European countries. And, and I'm not against Brazil. I'm not against um, any of those countries. But it's being sent there to deindustrialize this country because they got people that will work for pennies on the dollar. You know, they were going to ship Jeep to China, but the deal's been made. Oh, we won't ship it to China since it's owned by Fiat now. We're going to ship it to Italy. Oh, that deal's been made. It's going to be going to Italy. Yeah, there it is. Outsourcer-in-Chief Obama of General Motors, Forbes magazine, shipping the GM plant to China. And then I got to hear his speech about, oh, I want to get jobs going. I can't do a good Obama imitation. Like Bill Clinton, oh, I want to get jobs for you. That's why I'm shipping it to China. Or Bill, hey, yeah, yeah, we'll get it. But I can't really do an Obama. We got to get America going again. That's what we got to do. I, I just can't do an Obama. I can do almost any voice, but I can't do Obama. When we can play the real Obama. He's out on some tour right now. He's going to get America going. This guy shut down hundreds of power plants. They're going to shut down a couple thousand more. And I know I just keep repeating the same thing. I mean, I'm watching. I went and saw with my son and Shane Steiner last week. Uh, we went and saw of the, the uh, Brothers in Arms gun show. I'm, I'm an old high school friend. We went and saw it. Our wives didn't want to go. And uh, we go see Pacific Rim. That's like a 21st century version of Godzilla. And I thought it was very entertaining. 
but it's all a bunch of UN global government propaganda, kind of like World War Z. But as for entertainment, it was entertaining for a cheesy movie. But I was watching the kaiju, which means giant uh, monster in Japanese, fighting the Jaegers, which means the hunters. And what they send these aliens in to do is to destroy the major industrial cities first. Rawr, rawr, boom, and just blowing up the power plants and smashing the bridges. That's what the globalists do when they go into a third world country and take over. They say, okay, you got to sell all this off, turn this off, shut down five water plants, only have one plant. We'll charge you 9, 10, 12, 15, 20 times what the water's worth. Then that causes rioting, which drives down wages even more. That's in the IMF World Bank plan that got leaked in 2002. It's called the IMF riot. Look it up. But if they can't do that, they militarily come in over some excuse, bomb the plants, bomb the energy plants. The globalists are like alien kaijus. Just shutting everything down. And then Obama is kaijuing America. I mean, when they, let me tell you, my grandfather went around bombing power plants in Italy, folks, out of North Africa. That's what they did was bomb German bases and, 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 you know, and blow up the infrastructure of Italy before they went in. I mean, that's what you do in a war. You know, the kaijus come out of the ocean, to use a child's analogy, and tear up the, the, the cities ahead of the main invasion force giving away the plot here, and that's what Obama's doing. But but see, it's all it's for the earth. I mean, the Austin City Council's, yes, we've doubled power prices the last five years, and we're going to double it again, and we've shut down all three city-owned power plants, and there's one partially we own, uh, the Fayetteville plant. We're going to shut it down now, and we're going to buy our power from Mexico that comes out of big, dirty stacks because the globalists want us shut down, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the city council is a kaiju attacking my city. Obama is a giant kaiju. Where are the Jaegers to deal with these people? Well, there aren't any hunters left in this country. All the men act tough all day or, or, or professional guys only focus on their own business and their own money and think they're getting ahead doing that. No, you're going to destroy everybody if you don't stand up. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com a massive group of kaijus under Agenda 21 have just devastated the U.S. power plant system and are moving to shut down all the major industries except select insiders. The United States is plunging into dependency. Over 100 million Americans are now on food stamps and food assistance. Obama, the devastating kaiju, is unstoppable, destroying dozens and dozens of cities, turning America into one giant Detroit as he's hailed for the death panels. Only the mega kaiju, Obamasaur, can carry out this level of attack. I want my crew to get some old... Uh... McGreen, that's how McGreen got the job here. Before we were even hiring more video editors and people, our, our best graphics guy, in my opinion, everybody else is great, but McBrain's office, I think, is the best. And uh, he sent us a Godzilla New World Order deal where he took Godzilla videos and edited. We should show Obama to illustrate to people about you've heard of Godzilla, the famous kaiju. You've heard of King Kong, his nemesis. You've heard of Mothra. You've heard of Gaimira or whatever they're called. You've heard of the, uh, the kaijus of Pacific Rim. But now face the kaijus. And it'll show like uh, race baiting kaijus, destroy your culture and divide everyone. Uh, the leader of the kaijus is Mr. Madal. And then you like cut. Oh, there you go. Somebody has, somebody has turned Obama into 
Obama can transform into Godzilla so he can destroy anything not built by a union. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, 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 and God is in the name, which is proper. Uh, God is in the name. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. I tell you, I can't handle it anymore. Let's go to phone calls and I'll get to these clips, I promised. Speaking of satire, it's up on Infowars.com. Exclusive footage of the birth of the royal baby. And at Real Alex Jones, I did it. It's in bad taste. I was on the hike and bike trail this morning, went for a short jog, and I came across it, and I had to take a photo of it and then say that it was a leaked photo uh, of the uh, birth of the new royal baby. Because they fawn over it and act like we're scum and they're God and we're mutts and they're purebreeds. So it, 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 it all ties in uh, nicely. And, hey, it's an official city sign, so it's not, not profane or anything. That's up on uh, the real Alex Jones. You want to follow us there uh, on Twitter. Now, shut up, Jones. It's like Dr. Strangelove where he's like, mm, control yourself. Uh, let's go to uh, Kevin in Texas. You're on the air. Welcome. Hello, Alex. Hey, what do you think First of my of all, analogy of Godzilla wading through Tokyo, Obama wading through our cities? Uh, Godzilla will lose. <laughs> But, Alex, I first and foremost, I'm a first-time caller. I've been listening to you for many years. Uh, all this time I've been waiting on this line thinking of what I'm going to ask you. While you and smoke a giant joint? I, I, <laughs> no, but in reality, Alex, I'm tr I was thinking of what I'm going to ask you, but anything and everything that I ask you is like preaching to the choir. No, no, we have a lot of new on. listeners all over the place going to agree on just about everything we, me and you would Okay, then what talk Okay, about. what kind of kaiju but would the Obama be is, then? But if I may, Alex, if you will now Go ahead. Permission. Go ahead. I, I want to speak to the people now. There's many of us listening, and yes, I listen to you just about every, every day, every night. I go to YouTube and I listen to what you're saying, and I agree with you. And uh, the thing is, I want to talk to the people right now. We have to, everywhere, I'm a truck driver, everywhere we go, we have to wake people up. We have to turn them to this channel or people like you or Gerald Salente. Or, we have to get out of the trance and start moving, absolutely. As Americans, not just Americans, as, as free-loving, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional right now, but uh, we have to turn, we have to wake our brothers up. Alex is doing what he's doing. It is our job as listeners. And we, there's millions of listeners out there. We have to do our job. I, I, every state I go through, Alex, every warehouse I go to, every restaurant I go to, I try to turn people to you. I put Incredible. on YouTube and I put, I put the volume up all the way so everybody can hear your voice, so everybody can hear what you're saying. It is our job, people. Get out when you're out there. You go to the market. You 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 go to every. I don't care. You're at the gas station. Wake people up because we have to wake up. These criminal elements. These these criminals have so much power that absolutely the globalists used America's might and energy and industry to make deals to build their global empire off of selling out America. That's been done, and so everybody needs to know, hey, you notice stuff's getting bad? The globalists did it, and they're bigger than Obama. They're bigger than the Republicans. What do they hate? Bill of Rights, Constitution, Declaration of Independence. It is like holy water to a vampire. Get back to what they attack. Whatever they attack is what they're scared of, and absolutely, I, I can't think of a better place to point people to find out about what's happening than to Infowars.com and the YouTube videos, and the nightly news, and what we're doing, breaking down the hypocrisy, making sense of things. Not, you know, the media says, Jones just makes up this cosmology to make sense of things. No, the globalists brag how they set this up. We're only pointing out what they've said they're doing. So I heartily agree with you. People need to see themselves as leaders and start their own YouTube channels, their own local radio shows, their own local newsletter, their own local... Uh, film. I mean, I, I did it with no training. You guys can do it too. And you don't have to be as big as Alex Jones, but some of you will be bigger. Uh, God bless you, sir, and I appreciate your call and keep up the great work. I salute you uh, from Austin, Texas. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free 
Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.